Hi, the purpose of this video is not a uh, full length tutorial, but it's just a quick summary of what I've done here. And uh, this is mounting the Amazon Basics single stud TV mount. It's the full motion kind. And we're mounting it on a, uh, a drywall that's over brick. So it's drywall with brick behind it. Uh, there are no studs in this wall and it's not hollow behind the drywall so you can't use toggle bolts because uh, because for toggle bolts there needs to be a hollow space at least an inch deep behind the drywall and in this case there's no hollow space because there's brick I've already drilled the holes for the first two anchors to go in. So now I'm just getting ready to install the anchors and screws. Uh, the, screws that actually, the, the screws that came with the mount are actually going to be used this time because of the size and length um, are actually perfect for brick. I always bring a big case full of an assortment of screws and anchors to each uh, TV mounting job because the screws provided in the with the mount um, are sometimes good, but in many cases do not do not work for all wall types in all situations. But in this case, I was able to use the screws that came with the mount. Just checking the level, and it is level, but even if it wasn't, there are adjustment screws on the back which let you adjust it to get it to be level after you mount the TV. So, as long as it's fairly level, that's good enough, right? So, the mount has one, two, three holes. Uh, the f I did the first two, top and bottom first. I wanted to make sure it's level because if you do the middle screw uh, first, it will be hard to level everything. So give it a tug just like that without adding the third screw. Now, now for the third screw, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-drill this with a very skinny drill bit um, and then I'm going to try to just screw this straight into the wall without an anchor to see how that grabs because many times pre-drilling old plaster and brick uh, will give it a significant, will give it a sufficient grip uh, on this type of long um, coarse threaded bolt um, and if it feels loose after I do that then I'll just take the bolt out pre-drill it with a bigger hole put the plastic anchor and then the bolt in again so I pre-drilled it and I'm going to see what happens when I screw this straight into the hole um, there was some pretty hard brick in there when I was pre-drilling it uh, the drill bit was not going in as smoothly as it would for uh, a softer material, of course. So um, I'm going to see what happens if I... I'm going to see what happens. Oh. Now those clicks on the impact driver are a sign that there's some serious resistance. It's not turning anymore. Um, that means it's in there being gripped pretty well. So the anchor for that third hole wasn't even necessary. I probably could have gotten away with all three holes and no anchors. Um, but it's okay. And the next time I'll try that. But it's okay. And one thing to note is you can always try pre-drilling, um, just pre-drilling with the 
idea that you will only use the screw and no anchor and then if that doesn't work and the screw seems too loose you can always uh, widen the hole to put an anchor in um, so you can you know move up a size in diameter hole but you can't go down so uh, it would be a good idea to start with a small pre-drill hole uh, just for the bolt alone um, in this case I'm pulling down on this putting a lot of pressure um, and it's very strong okay there's no wiggle no movement um, so we're good to go the TV is ready to hang so the TV is on um, just need a couple final bolts to secure and level and they go in these two spots here and you tighten and loosen them when you want to adjust the level and with the TV on I'm giving it some extra pull see no movement on the mount let's look at that it's nice and stiff okay that's it